How how old were you when you had your first street fight, and how was it? And how was your first sport fight? Ah, that's a pretty cool question, man. First street fight. Let me think. Okay, fast forward to when I was sixteen. Yeah, yeah. So I had issue with this kid because he was um he was hitting on uh, <laughs> he was hitting on my girlfriend at that time. And then, so I went with a buddy of mine's, you know, who, who was like, uh, you know, at that age, already like smoking cigarettes and, and hang out with these Vietnamese kids. And they were, they were like running around with machetes and stuff like that. Like just, just terrorizing people, you know, like it was, but so anyways, I went with that guy and then we went to that school and then the guy came out and then we beat him up. Um, yeah. So that was, I would say the first one. Um, so 16, 16. And then there was a lot more after that. When I hit 19, oh my God, it was absolutely insane. Like uh, I was in like street gangs and all that. And, um, you know, Asian street gangs. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was, you know, it, it was, it, like, I wouldn't really call it a fight. I would call it a beating, you know, because th that's the thing. When, 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 when people say, oh, street fight and all that, it's usually a one-sided beating, guys. That means that it's usually one or two guys on, you know, two or three guys or whatever on one guy. Or, you know, there's always like a group that's a little bit, you know, um, more uh, more than the other that outnumbers the other and then just beats the living crap out of everyone else. You know, and beer bottles, chairs, whatever, you know, that type of stuff. A lot of bar fights, a lot of bar fights uh, uh, back then for me. And um, yeah, and I was, so that was cool. And how was your first sport fight? How, man, how, oh, the first sport competition that I did is, uh, was Taekwondo, actually. So I did Taekwondo from the age of 16 to, to, to 19 and I wanted to compete. I was like, oh man, yeah, I do all this kicking and stuff and yeah, I feel I'm pretty good. I want to, I want to go compete. So I went to a competition and there was nobody there from my club, no senseis, no coaches, just like just some of my friends who showed up, um, you know, that I trained with like two, three of them and they were there. So I had this, my first fight, first opponent. I'm looking at this guy warm up and I'm like, ah, you know, I could take this guy. He's not that good. You know, his technique is kind of crap and stuff. So I go up against him and I get completely destroyed. Like completely, you know, he beat me to a pulp. Like he just basically, uh, you know, in Taekwondo. Um, so this guy was doing the uh, double, double round kicks, ba -bam, ba -bam, double round kicks. So he goes like this. So he steps, he goes, bah, 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 you know, and he was just doing that and he was kicking the living shit out of my legs. And my legs were fucked up after that. And he just beat the living crap out of me. And that's, and then I was, I was really like, I was traumatized. I was crying in the locker room, couldn't understand it and all that. And then I realized that as technical, as good technically as I was, I wasn't doing enough sparring. And then I found out that his club, that's all they did. They were like, screw technique. You know, like whatever it's, we don't, you don't need to be ultra technical and precise and, and you know, all that. You just need to know how to like throw them kicks to win fights. So they were, they were sparring a lot and yeah, I got my ass kicked. So that was, <laughs> that was my first experience in, uh, in sports fighting.